Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. In the previous video, I explained you what is the intuition behind a decision tree model and in today's video, we are going to discuss about three main important concepts such as entropy, information gain and Gini impurity. So these three measures are very important while we are building a decision tree model and in today's video, let's try to understand how this is helpful for building a decision tree and what uh, does these individual terms mean. Okay, so this will be the agenda for today's video. So in the previous video, we have seen what are all the different terminologies that we have in a decision tree. So when we are building a decision tree, we will have a root node. So this will be the most important feature that we will be considering. Okay, so we will take one feature from our data set and we will uh, build some decision uh, boundary to it. Let's say that uh, we are taking age as uh, the feature for this root node. So we will be uh, setting up a decision like if the age is greater than or less than 30. Let's say that we are taking age is greater than 30. So we check whether this condition is yes or it is no, whether it is true true or false if uh, the answer is yes so we will go to this uh, decision node and if the answer is no we will go to other decision node where we will uh, choose different features for these decision nodes okay so this is how decision tree basically works so we have a root node and then we split this root node into two cases and then we have a different decision node or internal node where we take different features from our data set so this will go on until it reaches a terminal node or leaf node okay so in a decision tree you have root nodes you have multiple uh, terminal nodes and leaf nodes and in the middle you will have you know any number of decision nodes or internal nodes so this is how a decision uh, tree looks like when you you know just visualize it now we need to understand which feature we have to choose for root node and which feature we have to choose for internal node and terminal node and so on so this is where the uh, measures such as entropy information gain and uh, Gini impurity will be helpful for us so they are like the measures which helps us to decide uh, which features we are going to choose when okay so let's try to understand this with an example Let's say that we have a problem statement and the problem statement is we have to build a decision tree to determine whether a person will get a job or not based on their degree and years of experience. Here uh, the degree and years of experience is our you know, feature. So these two are our features and uh, you can also call these as independent variables and uh, we are trying to predict whether a person is going to get a job or not, whether they are going to be placed or not. So this is our target variable or you can call this as the dependent feature because uh, whether a person is going to get a job or not not will depend on what is their degree and years of experience in this particular case okay so let's say that this is the small data set that we have for this case so we have the degree of uh, several people here their uh, experience in years and whether they are placed or not okay so whether they did masters in engineering or bachelors in engineering and so on so totally we have about eight data points here and this tells us what is their work experience in years and finally whether they are placed or not okay so this is the data set that we have and now we need to build a decision tree that can use this features degree and experience in order to find whether a person is uh, you know placed or not so let's say how we can build this decision tree so in this case we will be uh, building two decision trees and comparing uh, their prediction so which uh, decision tree we have to choose as our final model and so on okay so let's say that this is the first decision tree we are taking so this is our root node right so in this case i'm choosing my uh, feature degree as the root node so as you can see here we have two features which are degree and years experience in years so in the first decision tree we will choose degree as our root node and in the second decision tree we will choose experience in years as our root node so as you can see we have a degree as our root node and the two possibilities in this case are bachelors and masters so we call this as splitting okay so we are splitting this uh, particular attribute into uh, two splits one is whether a person has completed bachelors or not or whether they are completed masters and then we are checking whether their experience is you know uh, greater than two years or less than two years so we cannot use this continuous values directly so we need to uh, you know categorize them in some order so we are going to categorize whether the experience is greater than two years or uh, you know less than two years so that is the uh, decision boundary we are uh, you know building so let's say that if a person has completed bachelors and they have greater than two years of experience this is the case so out of these four people so in, like these four people have completed bachelors of engineering and they have you know greater than two years of experience so you can think about like that and out of these two people are placed and uh, two people are not placed so if you consider this so there are four people who have completed masters and uh, out of those uh, you know they are like less than two years of experience out of this particular class three people are placed and uh, one person is not placed so if you consider the second decision tree that we are building in this case we can choose experience in years as the root node so instead of degree we can use this experience in uh, you know greater than two years as a root node and uh, we are checking whether this condition is yes or no so no means they are uh, the ex experience is less than two years yes means there it may be like three or four or whatever it is okay so if they are masters we can see that four people are placed and uh, the bachelors there are only three people uh, 
no only one person is placed and three people are not placed so this is the decision tree that we are getting okay so to be honest if you just compare it to the data set that we have this may not add up but that is not the point okay so i just want to build this for explanation purpose so this may not add up so you don't need to uh, go through the data set exactly and see whether uh, it is correct or not okay because like uh, if we build an actual decision tree we will include another yes or no branch here and then we will see whether the person is placed or not so if you do that both the decision trees will be kind of the same thing so for explanation purpose let's say that this is the final output we are getting okay so you don't need to look at the data set so if a person has completed bachelor's and they have a greater than two years of experience this is the result so two is placed and the two is not placed and experience is less than two years uh, three people are placed and one person is not placed so when you have this decision tree how you can make a new prediction is that you can ask whether that person is uh, you know completed masters or not so if that person is completed masters and if they have you know experience less than two years or even greater than two years there is a high probability that they are going to get placed so if they are completed bachelors the uh, probability that they are going to get placed is kind of 50 percentage chance and something like that so this is how we can use this decision tree in order to make predictions now we have used the same data set we have used the same features but we have interchanged the position of these features so in this case degree is my root feature or uh, in other words is my root node whereas in this case experience is my root node right so we need to determine which decision tree is best for making predictions and which is the best model when we compare these two so this is where we use the measures such as entropy information gain or uh, Gini impurity okay so if you see the final output you can see that in the first terminal node we can see that two people are placed and two people are not placed so in this case three uh, people are placed and one person is not placed so in this second decision tree we can see that four people are placed and uh, you know in this case four people are placed so there is not anyone who is uh, not placed in this case and in this case one person is placed and three person is not placed so if you look at this so in this particular case there is a mix of two classes so if you consider placed as one class and not placed as uh, another class so there is a mix of uh, classes within this terminal node and in this case it is like uh, three people are placed and one person is placed and so on so if you see this this is like a perfect segregation because all the people in this particular section are placed right so we have to choose a decision tree that can split the classes into uh, you know separate groups so in this case it has separated completely right so in this case we can call this decision tree or we can can say that this uh, decision tree where we have considered degree as root node as high entropy low information gain and high Gini impurity whereas this decision tree will have low entropy value i information gain value and uh, low Gini impurity value so we need to understand what is meant by these three terms so entropy will basically tell you how random the data that you have so in this case if you can see here there is not a clear split like the, so there is some randomness between the two classes that is present in the terminal node so hence we can say that if the randomness is more we can say that the entropy is high if the entropy is high the information gain is low so we will uh, discuss in detail what is meant by this entropy and information gain and so on but for now understand that if we can split it uh, you know uh, accurately in that case the entropy will be low information gain will be high whereas uh, the uh, impurity will be low whereas if you can't split it completely the entropy will be high information gain will be low so these two entropy and information gain are almost like inversely proportional to each other and any impurity will be high so let's try to understand what does these three terms means okay so the first thing that we need to understand is entropy so in machine learning entropy is the quantitative measure of the randomness of the information being processed okay so entropy is a term that we would have studied in our school days in uh, you know thermodynamics so what we call entropy is that it is uh, the disorderness of a system okay so in machine learning and mathematics if we think about it entropy is the randomness so we are measuring this randomness in some quantitative measures and it is the randomness of the information being processed so if we consider this classification example that we have seen so we can say that uh, i value of entropy means the randomness in the system is i that means there will be uh, mixing of the two categories uh, so uh, there won't be you know separate segregation of the categories so i value of entropy means the randomness in the system is high and thus making accurate prediction is tough a low value of entropy means the randomness in the system is low and thus making accurate predictions is easier so if you see this image when you have low entropy what we basically mean is like that decision tree can separate uh, the classes into two groups or something like that whereas if you i if you have i entropy that means the decision tree cannot uh, build a decision system that can clearly separate the two categories so this is what entropy means okay and the formula for uh, determining the entropy is this so it is the summation of i is equal to one and c so c is basically the number of classes that you have so in the example that we have seen we have two classes okay so 
and pi i is the probability of i class and uh, log 2 of pi so this is like the probability value so probability is nothing but so let's say that out of this eight data points so three people are placed and five people are not placed so in that case the probability of people who are placed is 3 by 8 okay whereas if you consider the second class the probability of people who are not placed is 5 by 8 okay so it is just the simple probability so first we will take uh, the probability of the class for placed people and we will uh, find this particular value and we will add it with again the probability of uh, people who are not placed and we just need to uh, sum it so this will be our entropy value and if your entropy value is i that means your decision uh, tree is not working well because it can't classify the data points correctly so if the entropy value is low in that case it means it can clearly separate the values and it can uh, you know make good predictions so our goal will be to choose the decision tree which has low entropy value and if we talk about uh, but you know information gain so the reason for uh, finding this entropy is in order to determine how much information we can gain from the model so if we talk about information gain information gain is the measure of how much information a feature provides about a class Okay, so we are, as I have told you before, we are choosing different features for our root node and uh, for our internal nodes for two cases of decision tree. So if you just see in this case, so in the first example, we have seen degree, right, as our root node and in the second case, we have seen experience and the internal nodes has changed in both the cases, right. So what we will try to do is once we find this entropy, we need to find uh, for which feature selection. So if you, uh, for which feature you are selecting as root node or the internal node, you are getting I information. Again, I information is the one where you are getting correct classification of data points. Okay. So information gain is the measure of how much information a feature provides about a class. Low entropy leads to increased information gain and I entropy leads to low information gain, as I have told you. So if the entropy in the decision tree is more, that means it cannot uh, give you a clear segregation between the classes. So the information you are getting out of it is kind of low whereas if it can uh, separate the classes separately in that case it will have a low impurity and the information gain will be i so information gain computes the difference between entropy before split and average entropy after split of the data set based on a given features so how we will basically find the uh, information gain is so before we split the data into these two uh, categories or these two nodes, we will see what is the entropy at this particular stage once we split it based on the degree. So after that, we will uh, find again the entropy once the uh, data has been splitted by the second feature and so on. So first we need to see what is the entropy in the first case and what is the entropy in the second case after the data has been splitted and we will just uh, subtract it. So it is just finding the difference between the two entropy values. So this is the formula for entropy. So information gain of T comma F. So so T is nothing but our target, the class that we are working on and uh, F, did, you know, it tells the feature. Okay, so first we, we can take degree as the feature and we can find what is the information gain when we use degree as our root node. And in the second case, you can uh, take the feature as, you know, experience in two years. So we will have two information gain and we will see which uh, decision tree has the higher information gain value. So entropy of T is the initial uh, entropy minus the summation of v of f so it means like we have to take each values in that particular features so if you uh, you know think about the experience in here so we will take each of the values uh, once we you know calculate the summation and so on so t is t of v is nothing but the class or the target of that particular data point divided by the total number of uh, class that you have so it, it is just similar to the probability that we have seen before and then we have to multiply it with the entropy of t and we have seen the formula for entropy of t here right so i'm not going to go in detail about how we get this entropy formula and so on so th that is like out of scope for this particular video but you can uh, find several examples on the internet where you can uh, have some sample data set and you can manually calculate the entropy values and information gain value so you can do that in order to understand how to calculate this values what is the range and so on okay so entropy is about uh, calculating or measuring that randomness in the data set or the decisions made by the decision tree and information gain is what is the amount of information we are getting for a specific feature that we are choosing our root node and internal node so this is about information gain and finally we are Gini impurity so we you can think about uh, entropy and information gain together. So we uh, determine entropy in order to find our uh, information gain and Gini impurity is a separate concept. Okay. So the split made in a decision tree is said to be pure if all the data points are accurately separated into different classes. So as we have seen in the previous example, let's say that we are building a decision tree and it can clearly separate uh, the people who are placed and people who are not placed using different nodes and internodes. So in that case, we call the decision tree as pure because it doesn't have any intermixing of classes. If it has 
has some intermixing of classes if it contains you know in the terminal node there are people who are placed and not placed in that case uh, the decision tree is said to be having some impurity and the measure of uh, this impurity is called as Gini impurity so Gini impurity measures the likelihood that a randomly selected data point would be incorrectly classified by a specific node let's say that we have built this uh, nodes uh, root nodes and uh, internal nodes and so on so if you choose a random data point and you are uh, plugging in the values in this particular decision tree and we are finding what is the likelihood that it is going to be deter or it is going to be predicted uh, a wrong class okay so that is the measure of this Gini impurity so this is similar to the last function that we have worked on but is, this is like more uh, involved in the uh, categorical data so you just take a new data point and we are going to find what is the probability that it is going to be predicted wrongly because this is impurity okay so we need to find what is the chance we are going to get a wrong classification so that is uh, the measure of this Gini impurity and this is the formula for Gini impurity so it's g is equal to summation of i is equal to and c so c is nothing but the number of classes that we have and p of i is again the probability of that particular class so if there are 15 people and out of those 15 people let's say that seven people are placed so for class place the probability will be 7 by 15 or you know 5 by 15 so based on the number of data points we have so into 1 minus again p of i so this is the formula for Gini impurity so if you think about uh, entropy uh, it is like uh, what is the randomness so how much uh, the classes are mixed with each other so that is called as the entropy and based on this entropy we find the information gain whereas the Gini impurity is the likelihood of uh, you know your model predicting a class wrongly so you have to understand this clearly okay so these are all the three things that are very important when we are building our decision tree because like if you use a decision tree in sklearn there is a uh, parameter called as criterion where we have to specify whether we want to build a decision tree based on the entropy measure or with the Gini impurity measure okay so we can choose either between this information gain or Gini impurity okay so now if you see this we can see that in this case uh, there is some mix of classes right so we have people who are placed and not placed so there is not a clear segregation between them so we can say that this decision tree is not that much pure so there is some impurity so this will have a high Gini impurity value and because there is some randomness in the placed and not placed people we say that there is an high entropy so whenever there is an high entropy the information gain value will be low and in this case you can see here there is some intermixing but the intermixing is kind of low when compared to this decision tree okay so in this case we can clearly segregate all the people who are placed okay so in this case the uh, purity will be high because uh, we don't have any intermixing so the Gini impurity value will be low and your entropy value will also be low because the randomness is quite uh, decreased so in this case we have one placed person uh, among uh, three uh, sorry one placed person among three not placed people so but the, there is some randomness but the randomness is low when compared to this uh, first decision tree so when your entropy is low we have high uh, information gain so this is how we can determine which decision tree to use so this is like a criteria to determine which is the best de uh, decision tree to build so best decision tree in the sense which feature we are going to choose when whether a, a specific feature should go into the root node or it should go to the internal node or so on so this is like basically selecting the features for uh, specific nodes okay so that is all about entropy information gain and Gini impurity where these measures are used to determine which features we are going to choose for our decision tree so that it can make accurate predictions okay so i hope you have understood all the things covered in this video and i'll see you in the next upload thanks for watching